three NFT projects that are going to do very, very well in the coming months. Now, I truly think there's a lot of money to be made with these projects. The three projects I'm going to talk about are all very different. And one of them is out of my comfort zone and you'll understand why in a bit. The other one is one that I think can do very well for many, many clear reasons. And the third one is one that I'm co-founding and which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to tell you about this in this video. Now, let's start with the first project that I think is going to do very well. It's minting on April 16th and it's called Moonbird. Essentially, it's a collection of 10,000 owls that look like this. Why do I think this is going to do very well? Well, a few reasons. Number one is that this project is by the Proof team, which is founded by Kevin Rose. If you don't know who Kevin Rose is, he has 1.6 million followers. Kevin Rose is also the founder of Proof Collective, which is this NFT project, which has a floor price of... 51 ETH. At the time of filming this video, it's about $200,000 to enter this group, basically. So what they did was they got a lot of demand after they launched, and then they decided to launch a 10,000 collection NFT, which is called Moonbirds. Now, this is going to be on April 16th. It's going to be a Dutch auction. So the price starts at 2.5 ETH, then it drops every few minutes all the way down to 0.1 or until it's sold out. And I think it's going to sell out at 2.5 or max it's gonna sell out at two eth because the demand is there and if you take a look at their original collection it has a floor of 51 eth so there is definitely very very high hopes for this and also kevin rose is someone who i consider to be like gary v he has real world experience he has real world business experience so he's actually done something in the business world before launching this so with NFTs, usually you should bet on people. And in this case, betting on Kevin Rose, I think you won't be disappointed if you do so. I'm most likely going to be minting, even though keep in mind that this is very steep. Obviously, if it sells at 2.5 ETH, that's going to be very high and out of budget for many people. But if you have the budget, not financial advice, but you might want to consider looking into this. Now, the second project that I want to talk about is a project that is out of my comfort zone, as I said earlier. And the reason for that is because it's a Solana based project. Now, before you run away, if you're an ETH maxi and if you only trade NFTs on ETH, let me tell you why I think this project can do very well and why it piqued my interest. So first, let me start by saying that I get a lot of emails and messages every day about projects wanting me to talk about their projects. But in this case, I did find this project to be extremely interesting and that project is called Reels of Change. Reels of Change is a multi-utility NFT collection that aims to revamp gambling games. Before I continue with this, I have to mention that I'm not encouraging you to go out and gamble or to play any of those games, but I'm assuming you're someone who is already an adult who knows how to make smart decisions and not throw all their money away into gambling or into NFTs for that matter. So let's keep going and let's talk about what makes Reels of Change different. Usually gambling games, let's be fair, they're, they're boring. Most of them are boring. Most of them rely on dice rolls, coin flips, or any of those games of chance. What they're doing at Reels of Change is that they're creating more games that are skill-based, that are more immersive, and that will be more appealing to the newer generation overall, because if you're someone who plays and loves Fortnite, you're going to be bored if you're going to go play blackjack. So what this does is you play a fun game and you have a potential of earning money with it. Now you might be wondering, what does NFTs have to do with any of these? Well, I'll tell you. So when it comes to NFTs, if you are an NFT holder, what you can do is either play the game for free, and you can earn as you play. So you play and earn if you own the NFT. What you can also do is pay to play if you own the NFT. So what happens is when you pay and participate in this game, you can redeem something called rate back, which is basically a percentage of the money that the casino makes. So let's say you lose $100, the casino makes that $100, but they would give you back a percentage of that, which is nice, which is basically cutting your losses. Now, also, they do have longer term plans of licensing the games, which is just great. And overall, they're really taking this long term and they're taking it step by step. I've spoken with the team. They are working very hard and they have a full team that I'll show you in a bit. It's just a huge list of a big team overall. Also, holders of two or more NFTs get access to two airdrops. One of the airdrops is a 3D ROC collection or Reels of Change collection. Another airdrop you're going to get is one spins NFT, which basically enables you to get profit sharing benefits to the reels of change metaverse lottery yes they are going to be making the lottery i've never heard of a metaverse lottery and they're probably the pioneers or the first ones to do this which is just great you can see there's a lot of innovation that's going into this and a lot of thought that's going into this yo real quick if you're enjoying this video and finding it valuable please make sure you like it and share it with a friend who might think it's valuable also be sure to follow me on twitter this is where i give all the information about terrapin which is the project i'm co-founding i also give real-time thoughts on the market the nft space and alpha calls if some of those come around so make sure you follow me under and now let's keep going with the video additionally i do have to mention that i did try to play one of this game 
games and it's super fun all i have to say is it's really fun and it's addicting which is good or bad depending on how you look at it they do have a game with sound effects animations and everything so the team is working it most other projects tell you mint our project and then we'll give you guys a game these guys flipped this over and they started with a game and then they're gonna have you mint the nft which by the way looks amazing if you take a look at their website i'll show you how good their art looks so here's the website if you want to take a look at it by the way i'm gonna link everything take a look at the website it's just really well made this is one of the characters which looks amazing in my opinion and if you take a look at the art here's a few sneak peeks it's different. I really love different because everything has become a copy paste of other things. This is different. They're doing something on their own. And as I said earlier, if you take a look at the team, they do have a very, very big team, which is great. Overall, I'm excited for this. And by the way, I do have whitelist spots for you guys. So make sure you follow me on Twitter because this is where I'm going to announce the whitelist spots. They're going to give you plenty of those. So make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, give them a follow on Twitter as well. And Hopefully you get the whitelist spots. Now, last but not least, let's talk about the project that I am co-founding and that is called Terrapin Genesis. Now, if you've been following me on Twitter or on my Discord or on YouTube, you probably heard the words Terrapin Genesis before and you've probably seen the hype that it's been getting recent. We have grown from about 300 followers to 18,000 followers at the time of filming the video in a matter of four days max. I think it was four days and it's just crazy. We haven't reached out to any people for advertisements. Everything was just organic, good old grass-fed, pasture-raised, So, which is great. Now, what is Terrapin? A lot of you have this question. A lot of you have been asking, how can I get in? I'll tell you guys. Terrapin Genesis is a collection of 333 NFTs. Half of them are humans. Half of them are turtles because Terrapin is a type of turtle and it's going to be a free mint. Now, how do you know if you're on the whitelist? How do you know if you get a free mint? Once you get an invite to the Discord and once you're in, you are guaranteed a mint. Now, the reason why this is free is because we really want to help people. The main reason for this NFT is to combine more experienced traders or more experienced people in the NFT space with newer people so that the newer people can learn from the more experienced people. And additionally, all these people who are in the Discord will get access to a lot of utility. Number one is access to free alpha tools, discounts in certain alpha tools like sniping bots and whatnot. And we do have a lot of plans for later on down the road. However, I do know that every project says we have big things coming well, this time we do have big things coming. So having access to the Discord gives you one free mint, gives you access to a sick community. We haven't even minted yet and we're just above halfway filled. The community is just perfect. It's just great. I love hanging out in there. I love everyone who's inside. And overall, it's just a great time. Now, regarding the future utility that holders will get, I cannot disclose much information, even though keep in mind, I do know that a lot of people or most projects are saying big things coming and they promise that they're going to do a lot of big things. However, when I say that big things are coming, I do not take this slightly and i truly mean it we cannot disclose much information because we're finalizing a few things so the moral of the story is try to get into terrapin if you're someone who's outside try to get in in any way possible many people are dming me please can you invite me i'm not going to do that if you guys just ask me for an invite obviously there are many people who want to get in as well and who haven't dm'd and it would be unfair if i just invite them like that so maybe if you can connect with someone inside terrapin maybe they can manage to get you an invite because the way we invite people it's by either very very limited amount of giveaways or by nominations so someone nominates this person in the discord the team and i have a meeting we decide if we want to let that person join and keep in mind we're not only accepting experienced nft traders as i said earlier it's a combination of newer traders and more experienced traders so if you're someone who's new to the space don't worry you can get in there if you get lucky so that's it for terrapin guys follow us on twitter follow me on twitter for updates regarding that definitely Try not to miss this. As I said, I'm saying this over and over, but this is going to be huge. And that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And as I said, I'm going to leave everything I talked about in the description, whether it's Moonbirds, Rules of Change, or Terrapin. So check them out. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.